higher. I see the message, but it says you're not here. Is that just a visual glitch? There it is. Alright, so what was missed? Adachi said that we both have some business to take care of. We split up and came back here at night. I got a lesson on how to use the smartphone. And now we're going to go in the sewer to crash a party. Bon here is making the poor decision of nice. assuming his boss still wants him around. Because, you know, gang warfare. 18 years in prison. It, there's a f fair argument to say that he completely forgot about him. I'm gonna just hit him with you. I would have done the little bit of extra grinding I did off camera. Well, here, after the stream dropped, first and then just saved at the same slot because there's no story elements in this sewer. Let's go. Just a spot for potentially an extra level. suspicious. Me and my fucked up hair is the only thing that should look suspicious in this sewer. Damn it. 
down in an earlier round. The fuck did I just beat you with? Did I find a wrench? Where did I get a wrench? Look at me, I'm getting the timing down on those fucking boxers. Let's go. Take your best shot. Should I? You know that's a fire hazard, right? Go ahead and light another. Well, it's currently morning, so I've woken up. So there's that tragedy. I did some research for my main save on what weapons I'm going to need to make the best weapons. is usually the attack I have the least problem with. Perfect guarding. Um. You know what? You're dying because you have an annoying voice. a lot closer than I should have. But in short, my day's pretty good. Um, pretty good boy. Pretty good. think this was what it was. However, the items I used were completely moot. They're blah, 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 pointless because of how close I was to that. Oh, 
Dachi, you missed a fucking man lying on the ground. God, I hope I don't regret using those fucking healing items. Let's go. Time to crash a party I'm not invited to. Which is the entire point of crashing a party. I'm not the brightest individual, am I? doing here wake up we got intruders get up battle is on cool you know, you're gonna stop me or at the very least you have a chance to stop me I got this that came faster than I fuck. Two on two, evil foot even footing. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't fucking speak. I really appreciate that crit. Yo. Half eaten bento. Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get your ass upstairs. Ah, who 
the fuck are you? Thank you for the hugs. God. It's gonna rain or something, my knee's fucking... acting up a fucking storm. I feel the stats going up! <laughs> A voice acted line, I don't care. I just wanted to check you now something. Oh, yep, intellect dumbass. Style tasteless, passion lifeless, confidence pushover. Charisma repulsive and kindness callous. I can say for sure the only one of those that Ichiban truly is is dumbass. Christ, you are struggling. God damn it. Never mind. I did farm the little bit I thought I did. Come on now. That's how you do it. That was rough. Nice. Ghost. Stop right there! Hey, it's okay! I'm with the Kanagawa police! I'll buy you some time. Go on ahead. Go! Hidachi san! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving!
Um. Well, well. I love. Nah. Atlas as a developing company. As Atlas is a product of Sega, which is, I believe, who had a hand in this game. That's my spine. Which would make sense. <clears throat> at least. This game having a similar... Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, of their other JRP... Their other uh, RPG games. No point in putting a J on it. It's a Japanese company. But, um... Where if the... Party leader dies, it's game over. That's how you do it. And because I know what's on the other side of that door, fuck you, I'm taking the free healing. I didn't want to close that door. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well... It's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. You ready, G? Let's do it! Yeah! Hey, that's my blood on the floor.
Captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. Yeah! I'll go on the defensive and see what he does. What you're doing? Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for eighteen years. That's long enough! You figure they would have heard the commotion out there. Boss. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss. Please just tell me. Why'd you do it? Such an obedient man, Ichiban is. Uh, acting Captain, do we have a problem here? No, nothing serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. Now what I'm curious is... Who the fuck deposited my money into a bank account? Because that's where I can pull that money from. All my shit being in a box kind of makes sense. Game logic, that box is in every safe room and in Resident Evil fashion. That box has all of my shit, regardless of which safe room I go to. Which I mean, game logic can explain why money was put into a bank account, but I currently don't have a bank account. At least not one I could access at that point. Because 
Believe me, I tried. Sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. Go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh, by the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey! Oh man, I lost a bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bed for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that, and we'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas. So you better save me a big one! <laughs> Big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho. Eugene Cho. Isazaki Eugene Cho. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? in Yokohama. Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first, but lucky for you, it turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. You're tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. Where there are cops, there are questions. So what? And then the media comes charging in, cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. 
I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen. I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please. I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> if you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. Leeches. That's our world. It's a world where dozens of, of us do. crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many. There is absolutely no feasible way the universe is as large as it is, and we're the only intelligent life in it. One of the scariest things regarding alien life I've ever heard was a quote by I don't remember who. Either we're alone in this universe, or we're not. Both are equally terrifying thoughts. Inspired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. You don't want that, and we don't want that. Get out of here. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way, and you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well, can't argue with you there. So, <laughs> when do we start? Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, you gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... <sighs> That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um. Sorry about that. Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N A N B A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. You're about to be disappointed then. I've got a counterfeit 10k <sighs> on me that I don't know how it got there. You're gonna have to start earning. But that's teach you spoilers. How. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, just remembered you'll have to get the chief's permission to stay. The chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe, if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. Chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So, if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off. Make some money. Says you really one of the biggest here. liars in this story. Right? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. All right. 
Time for the tutorial on my favorite way to make money in this game. Where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. This is what you do for money? Kinda lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found a 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh yeah, it's my lucky day. up just to have them crushed. All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. And don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town. All right, then. Good luck, rookie. <laughs> but one of the biggest reasons I enjoy this game is its humor. Like, for starters, uh, jobs, aka classes, are defined by actual fucking jobs. Like example, Ichiban here's default job is freelancer. Now doing odd jobs for people. Namba's default job is homeless guy. How'd it go? I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief, this is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. Well, that's what I was until recently. Actually, I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Hmm. Your patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. You must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. 
Here. Can't really say that you're heartbroken. Your heart was missed. Thanks. But where, why the random question about me believing in aliens? Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Sure. <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijin Cho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Oh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'll be there. No, I don't apologize. I, I enjoy a good conspiracy conversation. Especially when I'm potentially on the weird end. Not that it's all that weird to believe in aliens. Like I said, the universe is fucking massive. It's very self-centered of us as a species to believe we're the only intelligent life in it. Time for a minigame I never really played much of. What's up? But seeing as I'm streaming this game, I may be playing a uh. fuckload of it in comparison to... Past playthroughs of this game. Just because it's something relatively boring. That once you see once, you've kind of got the picture. Well, since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too. So it won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin? You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okie doke, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. You find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Uh, here we go. Huh? What the heck is that? Hell yeah! Fuck me whole ass on this thing! Hope I don't crash and eat shit though. Cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans too. Yes, I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. Decent haul. This is. Five lower than the quota. So, get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. My advice: so I got gloves. Or consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. 
I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul. But what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Personally, I believe in... A uh, multiple universes kind of situation that you're describing. Oh fuck. Why is this so hard? Why did I get any well points? Done. Time to get you set eco. Points. Yeah. What you you can eat the squad. Well, huh. if there was a time. Uh yeah. first day. Oh. oh. In short, anyway, the minigame. Gives me points that I can cash in for prizes. The most basic of which being money. At an exorbitant uh, sum. I believe, what? 10 yens? 50 points? How'd it go? I worked my ass off. But my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Bread rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain-ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything is shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, 
That was the taste of the outside world. Well, here. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's the stuff. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit! The collectors are here! Earlier than usual. Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me. I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? The Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. Joke's on you, everyone's my enemy. <laughs> mafia my ass. I'll get this guy out of here. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But... Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. If you let me go to the ATM, I can there. get I'll the money. An excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Nampachan. How's business? Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? Oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. <laughs> Stop! Don't open it! How's it going? Well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, Namba. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life. Get your hands off them! 
Uh, Looker thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Namasan. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass! <laughs> ah, Namba! This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> All right. Let's do this! You're done! Let's do it! Okay. Come I on. got this! Have fun with this! Watch this! You know I'm in the Yokohama Leomang? You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great. You talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'd give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama! Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking... No, seriously. When should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu Lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your pansy ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. 
Shut up. This isn't even the Umang Tur. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Shang Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> 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 You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. Ah, I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. No, oh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, uh. huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? The girl in the red shoes. Honesty. So here we go. Sorry, the I didn't want to listen to that song. Chinese mafia, known as the Yokohama Yumon. This over here is the Korean mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, Gongju. And of course, there's the Japanese yakuza. They're called the Seiryu clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance. Are you kidding? No, they've always been independent. And they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ijinsho? <laughs> the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ijin Three offer the town protection from outside forces in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a Cold War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, a Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. 
Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Aging Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. You don't know how long I can just hang around in the jean show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 Oh my God. What the hell is that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. <sighs> hey, it's that spoiler I was talking about. Setup hey, look, is very casual. You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine. Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you teachy John, my old. Friend. I'm sitting in the recliner so that's sitting next to my bed, <laughs> and my mic is on my. Headphones. Huh? My uh headset. What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank. But I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? They wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? No, oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spit it already, man. Come on. Obviously. I'll cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait. Wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill is a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it, too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here. And I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? 
Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing. Throw it away and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, not Basan. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? And basically. I'll make you a deal. You take it easy. I won't start any more trouble. We good? Never took off. I go. I don't. But anywhere we may than here. invest what? in making a better setup. I walked around all damn day. What good did that do? I mean, I'm gonna skip this scene because Ichiban makes an ass of himself, and I really don't like it. He makes a whole big scene about how if we're all homeless, why are we not doing having anything about it if we could just easily go down to Hello Work and try to get a job. And Namba points out that everyone's here for a reason. A lot of them are trying to hide from shit and uh, fly under the radar. And if they get a job, they're back on the grid and all of the old troubles are coming back. There's a healing item drop near here that... By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool, too. Right? I'm into it. Someday, I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is going to shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. <laughs> Sorry, little dragonfish. <laughs> screwed up thing is, I can't rock any other classes until some of the social stats get brought up. Or some of the bonds I make with my allies get higher, which are two things I can't work on yet. So I think it may end up being like chapter 5 of this game before I'm even able to actually switch classes. Which sucks because Ichiban's going to pick up the hero class, which means I'm going to have to drop the freelancer far sooner than I want to. Long and short, big pain in the ass. trying to remember where one item drop was in particular because it's a recovery item that ends up being needed for a side quest later on that I want to be able to keep track of and save. I 
There be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm telling you are ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> What's your son? I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. Like that lady's voice actor. I recognize her. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh... I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But wait, I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am! I'll work really hard. I'm sorry. That's our policy, sir. Next, please. Wait, hold on a minute. I need to... Hey, out of the way. She's also Makoto Nijima in Persona 5. She's also another actually important character in this game. So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door... Closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Ah, uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. And this your point? Such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive. Fishing. Get salty yet? Can figure this out. Hey, either of you guys looking for work? Yeah, tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Uh? I'm not the one hired. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. I'd believe it. This game showed me just how many roles these voice actors have actually done.
because I'm bored and strictly because I'm bored. Let's pick a fight with a random stranger. Even this is a fucking very inefficient grind. Hmm? Bronze plate, that'll hmm? sell for a thousand, I think. That is relatively common in a lot of Japanese media. Like, I want to say the main character in Persona 5, his he don't have lines because he's a silent protagonist, but the very few lines he does have, I want to say, at least sounds like uh, Ichigo Kurosaki's English voice actor. of those for mm -hmm. the bat I'm going to pick up in I believe chapter mm -hmm. the beginning of chapter four hey that's 2,000 I'm carrying in my pocket and bronze plates to the nearest ATM now. Pull out all the money I have and put that toward weapons here shortly. Well, weapons and... Well, equipment more so than weapons, but... Ah, don't get hit by a car. Which can actually happen. 100 damage. At least, not in a fight. Come on, hmm? gold plate. Iron plate. The RNG hmm? in the early game is hmm? rather shit by comparison, at least I believe. Suppose Bento. No, no, pause it.
we'll have to remember that at least for now farming at night is going to be the more beneficial because I think the fights at night are generally a higher level. improve your intellect. I'm no longer a dumbass. Now I'm a knucklehead. <laughs> you know what? That might even be more fitting of Ichiban here. That Because that kind of implies a little bit of brutality to his personality. Which he sure as fuck has. Namba, I, I noticed you teleporting. But the homeless people seem to be the mages of this universe, so I'll accept it. Can you do me a favor and call for help? Fuck. Never mind. I forgot that him showing up was technically his turn. Someone using their phone to call for help finally fucking worked. on... oh, one more street over. Whoops. member that's going to show up eventually. I spent far more on weapons than I did last time around. That's okay. 
my offense is going to be much better this time around then. I can't afford to go get food. Headbutt Barrage. One of my favorite names for an attack. Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boy. See all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Do you know who they are? Man, I've heard about this. Shit. It's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ijin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm -hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. Kind of weird for. Well, I guess no, because if it's if they're named after the the area they occupy, the area they occupy should have a Japanese name. I don't know. Uh, well, what am I talking about? I I have trouble saying a. Uh, regular Lee. I can't say that word without stopping and saying it like I'm fucking stupid. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, it seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Gomicho with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. 
Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ejin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Okay, well, do you know anyone in the Komi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ejin three, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power grams. I can't do that. Yeah. And I shouldn't have to. I can't say that People's word. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on. There's got to be something we can do. Regular. Reg, regu, Let's reg, forget this. Regu, Seriously, regu, we don't need money Regularly. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut. I mean, don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? You got a screw loose, lady? Uh, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... don't? You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, no, this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. Consequential. I guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Kasuga, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <sighs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help someone. Coke wheel is. That's... Yeah. See? Now that's the right attitude. <laughs> I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Like if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine. I'll do it. Everybody happy now? Good. So it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Well, how about rustling up a drink for me? There are a 
whole setup is creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. But I was reading I ahead. So much electricity anyway. I did not read I tentacles. Have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted, dude? We're risking our lives for a measly five thousand yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably. So. Well, I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komichu are, hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar, not for one power cable. So you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They know that for damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. But Komichu must have believed that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what'll happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe it'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn. She has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? Not gonna lie, I, I think Kasuya looks really good for being 42. There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear, I saw him. Whoa! You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? Jewel send you. Hey, hey, wait. Leave me the fuck alone. Why'd you attack us? I was hired to. Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar. Were they Korean mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know! I'd never seen them before. They just came up to me in the park. I, I was drinking and minding my own business. But hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money. Let's do it! Okay. Watch this. And run with this. Well, Jesus Christ, I, I can't believe how easy that fight was. Whew. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> uh, uh, holy fuck. What's your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. Matsuo, right? Hmm. What's it to you? Listen, buddy, you didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trashing a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? Yeah? Makes you say that. They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? 
Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, ask the bitch. Bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was... Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Komi Jewel. No way. He was a member. Oh, shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. You think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. Hey, look. Hello, bitch. Run! We're sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Okay, it's all or nothing. Hey, call me Jewel. Hey, so what are you doing? doing? It doesn't matter to me one bit if that guy was one of your own or just a clueless bum. But you have him back now. Then why not let us go? And you won't have our bodies to dispose of! What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass! Would you stop? By the way, you know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck! If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway! So you need to give it up! You're the one who needs to give up! Look, you guys are real-ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small-time shit like stealing electricity! So cut it out! Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. <laughs> Balls of steel on that man. Are you satisfied? What? No way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Not bad for a bottom rung. Ex Yakuza. Well, I guess he's been banished for 18 years. Sorry about that. Dogs are going nuts that the neighbors are using their driveway. Okay. Mamba, why were you facing the other way? Good night. Yeah. Oh, 
think I'm far too far north for my own liking. You know what? To save my sorry ass, at least a little heartache. Because the Lord knows I don't want to lose half my fucking money regardless of how much I have. Yeah, that's roughly what I thought. Hmm? Of course. That all being said, I didn't think I was this far south already. Hmm? I guess to be fair, I can't go as far north as I thought I was. Yet. This key to open up the safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Uh... That's right, I didn't grab my fucking shit from that box. going on there? This is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. They really getting customers like that? Hmm. I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times and the owner said it was all merchandise and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible. And it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. But hopefully it won't be long. Don't worry, 
Ichiban. It won't be long. I believe sometime tomorrow. to find efficient grinding is to progress story. item consumable hmm? item that uh I don't fucking know point being one more thing before I progress story point is why while the fights are still easy just gonna sprint around everywhere get in every fight possible that's not what I thought it was Ooh, scorpion beehive although now I know that the first drops like that are random because that was a empty cicada shell in the other save. Did I never pick up that item? Guess I didn't.
three and four dexterity or four defense. Defense is going to be the preferred desire out of you. One more fight before that. just played all of these all of this these events yesterday and I don't remember what hey. is up next I think it's I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. <laughs> <laughs> damn, it's too damn to even dust this thing. Hey, Chiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. Weird thing coming from a nurse. You want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. all the ragged. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Get out of Get out! That can hardly be What's called a peaceful Bleach protest. Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zone's White. You know, some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white. Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. 
This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Rio Alki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Alki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Beach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant. But you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea. You pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple. Happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant. I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors. You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole! Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! There's a scene later on with that kid that is fucking hilarious. Not that this one wasn't too wasn't funny, just Hopefully the stream don't give me issues and maybe we can get to it today. Yeah, uh, he brought these young gang members, basically, to eat at the so-called restaurant, just to prove a point. With the intent of having them rough up anyone just to try to get them to back out of keeping this business afloat. 
old guy be so strong uh, whatever I'll see you around grandpa you kids have a lot of spunk why don't you use it to help your parents for once I never thought bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing bunch of dreamers they really think they can bleach the gray zones come on <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose but all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bully. Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Hmm? The two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self. So. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But, if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple buns living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So, I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to borrow. You got it. Thanks a lot. Yes! Yes! <laughs> 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 
<sighs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man. It's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, uh, and a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? And again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and... Now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. It's not that what I don't like it how it sure. is, it's that... I'm 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling it's me I could turn it all around and find Taking something? up way too much real estate. Yeah, my bad. For Sorry. my liking. I'd prefer to be able to see the whole, the game Life in full screen. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh, oh. <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. It's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But... If the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life... That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah! Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> All right then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers! Cheers.
please. Let me go. I swear. I'll tear that fucking bar down. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? Wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. I enjoy that the Korean subtitles were Korean. Yeah, I just like having it set up like this because without uh, basically a two monitor setup, I can't conveniently read chat at the same time. Or niche situations like responding to you through text and Snapchat. Thank you, ladies. See you all the night. Now make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank okay. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. Those women are all very Japanese for not being citizens. Or maybe I'm just racist and. judging their appearance to determine their race. Back off! Back. What? Who's there? It's me. It's me! Uh, 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 Dachi son. Mm -hmm. Greetings, friend. Kinda wish I didn't put my coffee in a thermos. I mean, it would be cold by now if I didn't, but it's still so, fucking blistering hot. You actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Well, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets I shot, try to respond, dead, kind of, well, more as practice exactly for yeah, if it ever it eventually does phone. end up taking sure, off. I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. Oh, because... I guess you wouldn't know what that Well, for starters, so when I'm high, I'm all I want to do is stream if I'm not outside doing shit. Location. Which would be my it's preferred GPS. thing to do, but you can I can't do that very often. Send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. You get it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> but that's you know, my the, the whole appeal of why me. I uh, like streaming. Whole sheet of charges: breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. I guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant that all got dropped. Uh, was any of that my In a sense, of course it was. It's as if 
you're kind of sitting have. next to me. Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo uh. I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, two of them. Kanagawa <laughs> police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's Good that? to know you still want to fuck him. He means the police commissioner. Important guy. <laughs> Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance. Got a lot of double entendres. Sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Hmm. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well... All of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why did he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, Ebu, any evidence that is given off of the police, that, 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 I'll shut up. he wanted was a big scandal. <laughs> Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So, everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher-ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way, back when I was a young rookie. So, I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately, through his buddies in the Public Security Division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, and next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the Furley Gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? 
Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa... Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh, shit. That's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save it yet. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. Yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. They well, let someone so irresponsible issue it's... driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. More of a it's fact that... It's not my fault blues and women are expensive, huh? Another convenient thing Come for on. me. Let's get over to Hello Work already. It's much more convenient just to... verbally respond. Bond's job that I'm not gonna be able to get rid of or not use for a while. <laughs> All that was non voice acted shit. They both tried to pull this bat out of the ground. People came along wanting to mug us. Whoa! What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Hmm. No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> that at least it's more fun for me. Okay. You're oh, in it now. Uh, what? Let's go! Get serious. Ure, ure. Let's go! God damn it. Huh. Let's go! You wanna fight? I thought you were gonna do that on the spot. No! Okay. I wasn't punished for my mistake. even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us. For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear they freaking transformed! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. You know, I think it's just all that hero talk. Makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, 
takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> that is Maybe not I how will. I'd spell oomph. I'd right, spell it with a U somewhere. Our great journey has begun. Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. You ask me, it's kind of fucked up that hmm? at the moment hmm? picking up trash and money from under vending machines is a more efficient method of farming for cash than fights at this point. how they're walking through that bus. I guess the money drop's not too horrible. My point being, cannot go through this bush. Ugh, I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard! He's polluting a precious natural... Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can to stop it. Something happened over there? The river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate! I highly doubt it'll be changing colors, ma'am. Either way, you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere! <laughs> So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me. Hello, officer. Hmm? Yes, can I help you with something? Um... Fuck that. But, hold up. Before I go worrying about a side quest. this up yet. Yeah, I can get in a random encounter first.
And to be fair about you thinking I wouldn't reply to your snaps through the stream, I didn't think I'd hear my phone notification through the headset. So it's a bit of a surprise to both of us. But that's another perk of... Jesus Christ, talk to me. Talk... There. Non-voice acted, don't give a fuck. Sure thing. Arigatou gozaimasu. Alright. Now... My response to this man can increase one of my social stats. So I'm wanting to so, at least see if... Uh, I'll clean two. How much do you want for all of it? Your wife's probably turning in her grave. Sup? There we go, that's the one I wanted. No. I was right. The job I want Ichiban to start being able to work on getting stats from is unlocked through confidence, I think. For the most part, the stat increases are job specific, but there are points where it's a, they get a permanent buff to their stats. I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get yeah. everything looking like new, and open up shop again. To be fair, I and haven't hit a part of, this place, of the game where I watching over me. need to I do make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> any yeah. actual Maybe reading, I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Thank you very much. Which I, I think my would prefer a standing position today. playing sure. anyway. This is a token of my appreciation. Flame in your eggs. Then keep up the great work at the welfare division if you ever get promoted. Anyway. Yeah. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. <laughs> now. Something I'm unsure of. Sweet! When I did this side quest last, it was at night, so I didn't know if they were... It got done immediately because night or any other reasons. But that can collection side quest, or side quest, the uh, mini game, something you can get with those points are uh, stat increasing books, then uh, social stat increasing books, more importantly, which 
means the world for Ichiban because, like I said, his jobs are social stat related. Alright, which one of these guys is pissing? I think it's you. Yo. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I saw a fight and cutscenes are about to be coming up, so figured I'd take care of it now. What the fuck caused you to bleed? I forget the reason we're fighting. Okay. Take your best shot. I know this. Eh? Watch this. Damn it. Just trying to wait for it to position itself in a way that that guy would have been in between. Another hundred. Yes. Thanks.
to remember to set the auto battle to not use abilities. That's what I'm used to using it as. Jeez! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys. Let's do this! Roger. What was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're... This voice actor, I believe, is the same from... the Big Bad... Well, the human Big Bad... in Persona 5. What? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I a shameless Pokemon ripoff. How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, 
I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. Namba, you just had us willingly walk into a dangerous part of town. That's the only bad thing, in my opinion, about this side quest. Which is borderline mandatory at this, this point, unless you this approach nice it's a fully functional research lab. from the other Dude, side, which would... Fully random office room. Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujiman, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujima, monsters Which one's that? that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujiman. Uh -huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering Oh around? yeah! And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed, when people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there, how can I identify them, they're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity, and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, but that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Come on! Hear me out for a minute! What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little... Oh, I'm going to fight everyone I see. Whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes. Which so one of us are you leaving out? Thinking, there are three of us here. Why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. Did he say you were two? But I wasn't reading. I was sipping coffee. Sujiman Encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? Stood each I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all of the work. So, Olivia, am I to believe you are, again, both of my viewers? As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to stay. Quick, choose your starter. Who are these goons? 
Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Wait, my favorite color. Not sure where you're going with it. Let's go with blue. Okay then, blue it is. All right, you two give blue here some backup. Now, give the choice is completely pointless, by the way. For. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Bring it on! Okay. Shit. What are doing? I got this! Like I said, neither did I, honestly, but it was a way to keep me talking and at least make it seem somewhat more entertaining, at least in my opinion. Perfect. Way too soon. Jesus fucking Christ, this goddamn TV. Believe it or not, I need to see the screen to properly block. God, that is a very short window. What the Fuck. I... I got you. My hypothesis about taunt is completely wrong. God damn it, the timing on that is so fucking tight. I feel the stats going up. Moving up in the world. Nice. Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. That's kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? Well, I guess. Yeah. There's... I guess that's kind of a failsafe. For him to be here if the game sees that the quest is complete. 
because if I did it beforehand, there'd be no way to get this entry. That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And, as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget! The world's counting on you! So you gotta dispatch them all! Then you'll be the next Sujimon master! <laughs> There's also a Mario Kart ripoff minigame in this game. Along with uh, some batting cages that I've got a feeling I'm going to. Never mind. That didn't take me where I thought it was going to take me. new job at a soap land. The trophy trophy for completing this chapter was fucking hilarious. Uh, Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's Jesus out of fucking Christ. I are forgot he crying? said that. Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the hold up? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap plans, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <sighs> hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga. We need a scram. <laughs> well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh... <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want. Boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? 
Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichicho! It was this mission that sends me to a bad part of town. Which I think is ultimately like right where. I don't fucking know. The point is, the encounters there are a little outside of the comfort zone. Which is kind of funny if you ask me. Because all of this is too easy. Okay. I got this. Watch this. Damn it. Uh, it's fine. Got her dispatch them all. And about asking if you were both my viewers, I was just wanting to make sure because I enjoy talking to people. Didn't want a potential second viewer to be feeling left out. Unless they are literally only watching to see the game, but I kind of doubt that at this point. some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry. We're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Marie. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Get down to it. 
first of all, the money. He said money. He's gotta be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Why did she give him money? It was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast!
the Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? I don't think I've heard too much it's of Endeavor, so honestly. Major, as I recall. Used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. But then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. That's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. And you were talking about the guy Nanaho was talking to, right? Yeah, way, way where I don't want to be. So I am going to fight every JRPG urge that tells me to grind. Gotcha. I can't remember if he has any bigger part of this. I'm going to call it arc because if you were to cut it into a fucking show, that what it, that's what it would be. At least I don't think... I want to say the... Big boss in... The big boss fight in the Seiryu... Is... A skinnier man. Like... Uh... Smaller build. Looking for items in a bathroom. Don't mind me, it's just twice as creepy as it sounds and looks. And then can't go in the women's. Um, that looks like a safe-ish encounter. But just to be absolutely safe, going to avoid it. I don't need to get hit by a car again. Oh, 
I sure got hit by the car. you out since your turn make it work. It's coming up. Have fun with this. Watch this. Look at me go. Sorry guys. I know. Goddamn jaywalkers. Are you just a... Nope, you're not just the one. Should have healed. You did not hit him. You flew over him. Namba that would have been great experience, but I did not have the, well I've got, I technically have the resources to revive you, but that was a very end game item that was technically obtained through DLC. Um, I gotta swing by this part of town eventually. Which admittedly, now that I'm thinking about it some more, that could potentially help with grinding in dangerous areas. Um, yeah, this is the that scientist's lab. I thought it was gonna have us come out here.
are not one person. You are also not one person. Slept like a baby. Hmm? Nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. The place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> the vintage film theater. I guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic, too. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. No, well... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles that are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment. Never fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though, anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Well, I'm already here. Excellent! Right this way, please. This wasn't what I thought it was. But depending on the possibility of Today's increasing is a uh, piece. social Robo stats, Cook. this may be worth half it. Culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right.
Well, it's about to start. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. Oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. I'm sleepy as hell. No, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. I'll be back. Dogs need out. God damn it. <gasps> Down's broken on this controller. Not at off there. I'll have to remember that for the next time I play this minigame. Whew, made it through. To use the other controller. <laughs> Sorry again, there's gonna be one more interruption to check on Trinity at another time. It's 
second thought. Hold up. Uh, Mike's gonna cut out real quick. Okay, I think I'm back. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Was awesome. Made it to the end. Konoaji Atatakai Kasan no Aji Omoi Dasazo Kono Kakshiajiwa. Shioda母さんの秘伝のレシピしかと受け継いだこれからも俺は料理に生きる。That was awesome. I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have gone my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to it enjoy does the raise classics, social huh? stats. Sorry, I There's muted myself to go get Trinity. So. I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Sure, respect the classics. Sorry, last impromptu break. <laughs> hmm? Did not know that there was a vending machine down here. I never found the key to those saves, so... That is a lot cheaper than the tests that I can take. And I'm assuming watching with friends will increase their bond, which I have not gotten a tutorial about, so 
why waste the time? みんなはクリスマスに社員旅行で温泉なのに僕だけノルマ満たすだから仕事だなんてなんだこの音こんな時間に会社に人なんてまさか産業スパイシェイ movies make me so sleepy I almost nodded off there. No, you didn't. Your stare at the screen was as dead eye as mine. Whew, made it through. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Don't lie to me, it's done. Don't kill the chickens. That was awesome! Made it to the end! Movies are rad. I didn't check which one went up. Fuck. <laughs> it looked red. I'm gonna say passion. Uh, I'm, uh, killing me. Uh, 
If you need to sleep, sleep. Or is that what you're telling me? Um. this and the stream and pick it up another time fuck 